and and I will tell you if you're starting out with IT, please refrain from going the easy route. I have seen a lot of students or a lot of people that are trying to get into IT, but they want the easy way out. They look for a course that's really short. And, and these are folks that are starting from scratch, so which means they don't have prior IT experience. They look for a course that's really short, it's probably three months or two months, and they try to go really quick and learn something like AWS or DevOps. Now, one thing you should know right now before you somebody deceives you to um to somebody comes to you and say oh gee you know you don't need all of that i, I know where you can just go learn aws for two months and you get a job now if you're brand new to it that's 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 a lie they're just trying to deceive you and what by the time you're done you will figure it out now this is why i'm saying that right so you have you have um systems right every program run on a system like linux unix windows correct that's right so every program runs on system like this and these systems are set up to be in a network and then on top of these systems, then you can have your AWS, you can have your DevOps. Now these are the DevOps tools, AWS uh, services, and then you can have your uh, cybersecurity. All right, so which means for you to effectively run these tools and manage these tools, you must understand the underlining infrastructure of the tools. There is no way you will be good in AWS without understanding networking and si the systems that AWS, especially Linux. AWS runs on, on Linux and run, it also has Windows in it. DevOps, and they all run in the network. So, so all of them. So if you are trying to support these systems, these are called high-level systems that run on networks and on systems, and you don't have a clue about networking, you don't have a clue about systems, then there's no way on earth you will effectively understand how to manage and run these systems. What am I saying? If you are brand new to IT and somebody tells you, go learn AWS, they're setting you up. You will go try to learn AWS, like I have students in this class that went and learned AWS, and I know one of the, the young gentlemen told me, I finished learning AWS and I have no clue what was going on because this is lacking, because this is lacking. And they're back here to learn this. And same for DevOps. There's another student in this class. He told me today, he registered earlier today. He said, I went to an, I attended another course. I learned DevOps, but I didn't understand what the guy was, ta was talking about when he was teaching DevOps. Why? Because he was using networking terms, Linux terms, and he did not, this, the student did not understand because he didn't have the skills. Now, if he had the skills, he will understand what that instructor was saying. See that? So, you are doing the right thing. How are you doing the right thing? You're starting from scratch and building. So by the time you're done, you would have learned this entire infrastructure. Starting from here, you learn the systems, you learn networking, then you get into AWS, DevOps, and cybersecurity. Once you get here, this, all of this will be very easy because they all run on these systems and they are in a network. Most of the work here and here, all of these, are based on this. For you to become an expert IT professional, you must follow the structure. 
if you are brand new to IT and you skip this structure, you will struggle in IT and you might end up wasting money. Some of the students here that attended other schools, they had already spent $3,000 trying to learn DevOps. Now they're here to spend another 3500 to learn this whole thing again. You don't want to make that mistake. Learn it right the first time. Take your time. Don't rush. Somebody that's brand new to IT will not fully understand IT in three months. It's impossible. This course is a six-month course. And that is the, the amount of time that is required for somebody that's starting from scratch to fully understand the concepts of IT. You take your time the first time, you learn it well, you become an expert, you become very marketable, then you go enjoy your career. You get your opportunities coming, you start making your money, you are very good at work, you're not stressed out. Can somebody that is starting from scratch attend a three month course and be lucky to get a job yes i've seen people that are lucky to pick up a job in awa but they will call me up and they will say man every day i feel like i'll be fired because i'm lacking here and and i don't think i know a lot so when i go to meetings they're talking about networking when i run my some of my systems and i get stuck because now i'll have some issues that are network related and i don't know what to do and I th I'm scared I'll be fired every day. So I have to come to you to teach me this whole thing. And that's the worst feeling you want to have. To get hired and every day you feel inadequate. You're always sitting there saying, gee, I don't know, Jack. You listen to your colleagues talk and you say, Jesus Christ, what are they even talking about? They talk about this and that. You don't have a clue. They can put this together to run the systems effectively, but you don't know how to do it. You don't want to be in that situation. So what you're doing, you're doing the right thing. And don't get deceived. Yeah, if you don't understand this, somebody will, will come to you and say, oh, you don't need six months to be there. Just come and learn this. Come and learn this. That's not true. You, you will end up coming back to learn this one. If you don't attend, learn it from a school, you will s probably later on have to sit back, spend time and money, on maybe on your own, to try to learn this. And it will not be easy to learn it on your own.